What's going on everyone? It's Yvonne again. <clears throat> so today uh, we're going to do the thank you page for our funnel. All right. So yesterday we did the main opt-in page or landing page or squeeze page as people call it. Okay. So that uh, people click the button and they see the video. Today we're going to end this with a thank you page and we're going to kind of finish off our funnel. Okay. So last time our offer was this one, the diabetes loophole. And by the way, I clicked on it today and it gave me a completely different page. So the top is the same, but here they have the regular price checkout. And instead of those little four options, if you guys remember, just check this video out over here. This was our previous video. Um, they had four kind of different sections saying what it's going to be about, um, what the next video or what this video is going to be about, but nothing about this. So these are all testimonials this time here. And the page is much longer and has the price again. All right. So they're doing that. So, um, yeah, so our link is this one. When I click promote, here's the link we want people to go to and buy. So if I just copy this link into another browser, it's going to take me to this page. And Hi, this is my where name is Reed Wilson. Yeah. Okay. So let me show you how to do this, assuming you don't want to put up a thank you page. So if you don't want to put up a thank you page, when you click on open panel, instead of saying submit page, what you should do here is just delete all this. And notice how it says URL slash action. So all you do is just put in the URL there. Boom. And now what happens is when people click this and they fill this out, they're going to go Hi, directly to my this name page. is Reed Wilson. Okay. After my father died from diabetes, it became the main... So that's the goal. Uh, now we will not do it like that. So uh, we will actually make a thank you page in this video. So I'll put this back to and um, submit form, all right? And then this is going to take us to the next form, which is going to be the thank you page, all right? So let's get right to it. And I'm thinking this video may look better if it's even red, you know, red for action, red for immediate action. So I was playing around with this the other time. I think it looks a bit better like this. Better than green, I think. There you go. So something like that. All right. So yeah, so that was our landing page from uh, from yesterday. So let's get to our thank you page. So thank you page, I'm just going to select this here. And I will create a thank you page from scratch again. All right. Boom, lovely. So I'll click edit page. And my background should be the same. I like to keep my backgrounds the same. Uh, it creates consistency. You don't want people to go from one page to another and, and have something completely different. It, it reduces the trust. So for me, I like to have elements, some elements that are the same. So for example, the heading at the top, maybe I'll have that same exact heading here on this page to build consistency. So I'll, uh, let me see what this is, background setting. So let's include that same image we had, which was this one. Right. Yes, that is it. Okay. Um, good. And I'm trying to think how I should do this. Let me see. So let me delete that. Let me do this. Let me insert another one. Okay. So here's where, where our kind of thank you element is going to be. You know, saying thank you. Um, thanks for subscribing. Check out the video just down below. And we're going to take you to this, to this page with a video. Okay. Something like that. Uh, now, if you have, um, if you're selling like a free ebook, this will be your hey, thanks for subscribing. Download, download uh, ebook below. So we'll do that. And let me just, I'm really tempted to just remove this part entirely. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. Let me use two of them. So I'll just copy the exact same design as we had for the top. Because I just remembered, right? We, we want to have the exact same top we had for our landing page to build consistency. So let me see what we had in here and I'll just copy the exact same thing. So I'll just do that thing. So the diabetes loophole, let me see. So this was 20 from the top, okay? So the same thing and just to make sure, yeah, so this one's full page and this one is medium page. So I will do the same thing here. Just want to build consistency. So it says wide, I want to make that medium just to maintain the consistency. As for this one, I will make this full page and I think it's at 20. All right, and then this one was 
30 from the top. So we'll do this one 30 from the top as well. Great. And I'll just hit save. So I will insert two column block. And, oh, it works this time. Look at that. <laughs> Yesterday, if you guys remember, if you again check out this video over here when we did our landing page, it was giving us a hard time uh, changing that over. So I'm glad it works now. <sighs> okay. So we're just going to insert an image. Let's insert the exact same image, kind of. So this, this, I mean, normally I don't put smiley faces on my images, uh, but this is just symbolizing a brand, basically. Okay, so whatever brand you have. And then here I'll say, so I'm just literally kind of going to copy paste that. The sucky thing about transferring from one click funnels to another is that you can't really transfer. So if I were to just copy this and paste it into here, it wouldn't. It went pasted in the same format, exact, uh, uh, same exact font, and etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, okay, so I'd have to do that manually. So I'm gonna have to just go back and forth and uh, fix things here. Fix it here. So let me see. This one was 66, and on the left. So we're gonna do the same thing here. We're gonna say left, and I'm just gonna type in 66. Lovely. And. It was zero, 00, so we're going to make this zero, 00, so the margins. So the margins from the top and from the bottom are going to be zero, 00. Okay, there. So now it looks exactly the same. No, the image. The image here is, oh, that's odd. Last time, I think um, we did reduce the image width, right? But today it seems, oh, wait, oops, sorry, wrong image. Here's the one I'm looking for. Okay, 100. <laughs> no wonder looking at the wrong page there you go okay so now it's exactly the same that's good uh, we want to maintain that consistency uh, one more thing we want to do in the background let's just make this the exact same color and just see the shade yeah so it's white there so we're gonna do this the same yeah there you go all right so we got that top that's good. Builds uh, builds trust. Actually, let me just put that over here instead. Okay, so here we want to insert headline. We want to say thank you. Uh, we want to say maybe, um, you know, either I've emailed you or um, click down below to email. And then maybe we want to have some arrows pointing down. And then a button here saying download, right? Or... Okay, take me to the video, All right? So let's just say, maybe thank you. And by the way, let me just change this coloring here of this thing as well. So I'll make it the exact same as this. There you go, exact same thing. Um, seems to be a huge margin here between that. So what's the margin of this one? It's 0 and 10 from the bottom. Okay, so that's fine. So we'll do the same thing here. So we're going to adjust this margin to 0 and 10 at the bottom. All right, so thank you. Um, so you can either say, you know, I have emailed you your free video or I have emailed you your free report. Um, and then kind of in that email, take them to another page, which is some of the options we're going to go through in our get response tutorials. In this case, we want to say, um, again, depending on how you do it, um, let's say, let's say, check your email. All right. So let's say I have emailed you your free video. Or no, because we're going to. In this case, we're not emailing them anything extra, right? So we should, okay, so let me just change this. Okay, so yeah, so let's let's say uh, thank you, click down below to watch the video, or to watch, um, what do we say here? By the way, we may want to change this number because as you can see, it it's um, the number here is slightly different. It's now, well, it started off at 18,000, okay? So let me just say, oh, by the way, over 18, because the page changes. So just to make it more real, okay? So you can see. Over to 
to watch how over 18,000 people reversed their diabetes. All right, and then we'll have a little arrow here. <sighs> Stock images, arrows, and pick something else. I don't know. Pick one of these arrows. It's too big. <laughs> you probably don't want it that big. Maybe something like that. Okay, so roughly that's how we want to do it. Um, let me make this red. And ideally, I would like to make it the same exact color. Well, okay, they are the same exact color, so that's fine. Click down below to watch. Let me just change that lowercase. Honestly, it doesn't matter. Um, you know, these, these are really small things. All right, click down below to watch how over, so maybe something like that. Okay, so that's the rough idea. So this site, notice how I put in the website of my affiliate link. So this is where I want the people to click on and go, okay? Uh, so maybe I'll make this arrow red, as, or this button reddish as well. And then it should say, Um, show me the video now, okay? Make it like that, maybe increase the font a bit. Let's see what did we say? <laughs> we said that here too, right? Um, yeah, so we're gonna do it for um, a third time. It looks like, and let's see if there's a, there, there should be a video play. Okay, so there you go. So we're going to insert a little video for them afterwards. Um, let's make this a bit bigger. Right, so that's the basic idea. Uh, that's what you want to say. Let's make this a bit, move it down a bit. Maybe this one, have it a bit closer to each other. Okay, so roughly that's the idea. And then increase this again by the same margin, maybe. Something like that, okay, something like that. So, I think you click down below how over 18,000. You know what, I think it does look better with caps. Let me just change it real quick. Okay, there you go. So something like that. All right, and uh, yeah. So this is basically the thank you page. Obviously, with the wording, like we'll have to figure out what we're gonna say. Okay, this isn't a video about how to make the best landing page ever. This is just to show you how to get it out there and how to make it work. So this is roughly the design we're gonna have. We do need though to figure out exactly how we're gonna phrase it and what we're gonna put where to make it ideal and to make it best but this is something that we do in a b testing and um split testing okay which you can see right over here i, I make a video about that as well uh where i show you guys how to do that um so maybe just some finishing things let me install the clickbank trust badge in here as well so i'm just gonna go here tracking so i've posted a tracking link uh if you want to see how you can make how you can add a clickbank trust badge look at this video right over here uh, i take you step by step how you can add this little credible uh, Clickbank trust badge at the bottom left of your or actually anywhere uh, on your page to make your page look more credible and I'll show you what it's gonna look like as well so this one tracking codes there you go and one more thing maybe I'll do is I'll also include the ClickFunnels affiliate badge as well that's a little badge that shows up the right uh, at the bottom right so if people click on that you will also make a commission if people buy it so I'll do the same thing here Show badge and I will save. Okay, so that's roughly how we want to do this. You know, maybe on the thank you page, put a little image, just you know, a person bowing or something like that. Um, totally up to you. So let's just see what all of this is gonna look like. I'm close out of this one. All right, so we have this. Where it comes in from the right, free video reveals. Okay, show me the video. 
Check out video now. Okay, so I'll have to put an email, so let me just do this. Check it out, because we said required, right? And then this thing comes in, and I notice we have the little ClickBank Trust badge at the bottom. If you click on it, it takes you to this page which talks about Click uh, ClickBank. It just makes it a bit more credible. And then here, when people click on this, now they're taken to this Hi, page. Hi, my name is Reed Wilson. It. After this my father died from diabetes, it became the main you will make, um, Where you'll make your commissions, all right? So that's about it. Like I said, you can do some tweaking. You can insert some uh, some video or some pictures in there uh, anywhere you want. Uh, so now I know how to do it. If you guys have any questions or if you have any more ideas about what type of landing pages you want me to do or go over, um, in later videos, I will go over kind of what the strategy should be, what are the best ways. We'll dive into a little bit more research into that and see what we can do to optimize um, our funnels. For now, I just wanted to have kind of the mechanics down pat and just to show you guys what you can do uh, to set it up. Now, if you have any more ideas you want me to kind of make more sample landing pages for other products on ClickBank, feel free to leave, it, uh, leave any ideas in the comments below. Um, I thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next episode.